Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Guys, Joanna coming in with another battle replay here. We do have a 3v3 siege on the settlement of Tola for Doom. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a pretty sizable uh, guerrilla force here. We have a couple of units of the Nabataean, I'm sorry, Nabataean, Numidian light infantry, some of the Numidian riders there as well. But I'm going to slow this down because there is a lot of cavalry moving around outside. A lot, a uh, decent amount of the, uh, oh, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. We might actually have to stop this. We might actually have to stop this because these chariots are going to come in hot, wanting some kills. But all right, let's take a look at the attacking factions first. We'll start off way over here attacking by himself. We have Rome being commanded by Spurdy Dudery. And he has brought uni uh, seven units of the veteran legionnaires, four Histadi, two Evocati cohorts. General is a Legatus. He also has three Syrian archers and one unit of the Balearic Slingers. Moving over onto the other side, we do have a Kush. Kush being commanded by Black Series, and he has brought five units of the Kushite Slave Infantry, three Kushite Slave Spearmen. I don't think I've ever seen them on a battlefield before here. Uh, two units of Swordsmen, two Shotel Warriors, two Disciples of Epidemac, two Armored Shotel Warriors. There you go. One unit of the Slave Infantry, regular Slave Infantry, and he's got three units of the Royal Kushite Archers, one of those being the General. And then we have a Pontus here being commanded by Frej. I think it's Frej, I think. Uh, he has brought four units of the Celtic Warriors, four Naked Swords, two Pontic Swordsmen, one Hillman, one Bronze Shield Pikeman, three Scythe Chariots, one of those being his General, four Eastern Archers, and one Giant Ballista. Getting inside the settlement, we will take a look first here at Saba. Saba being commanded by Sea Lord of Bravos. Sea Lord of Bravos. Okay. He has brought six units of the Moscot Marauders, three Sabaean Swordsmen. T General is a Royal Camel Archer. He also has three units of the Cabean, uh, Sabean Camel <laughs> Cataphracts, Cabean, wow. Sabean Camel Cataphracts, two Sabean Archers, and two units of the Levy Skirmishers. Then we have a Misesli, who's already got a bunch of units outside, as you can see. Uh, Misesli being commanded by Mr. Castle, and he has brought eight units of Desert Legionnaires, six Numidian Light Infantry, one unit of the Numidian Spearmen, four of the Numidian Riders, and his general is a Armored Rider. Don't think he has any range. No, he didn't bring any range units with him. And then we have an Etruscan League. Etruscan League. Wow. Interesting. Uh, Etruscan League here being commanded by Macy has brought 10 units of the Etruscan City Guard. Two Etruscan Heavy Hoplites, one of those being his general. Two units of archers and two slingers. Both of them are Etruscan as well. But all right, back out over here. Kind of want to see what these chariots are going to do to this Numidian Light Infantry. Because they're getting rid of the Ballista. Hillmen are doing the best that they can against the uh, Numidian Riders. But alright, chariots are going to charge right in, in there. I don't know if that's a good idea because they're going to get hung up on the equipment. They're going to get hung up on all of those towers and the Ballista and everything. Yeah, they kind of just stopped. And this is not what you want to do with chariots. You want to move your chariots. Like You don't want to just blob them in there and let them sit because in melee they will lose if you just leave them in for an extended period of time in melee they will lose uh let's see what's going on back around over on the other side here we actually have the other Numidian riders getting around trying to really he's not trying to he's really harassing the uh the Kush force here trying desperately to get around the Kushite slave slave spearmen though so that's good that he's got them there armor Chota warriors formed up a line and jab oh my god the amount of arrows and javelins just came flying out of here. So, all right, those three units are dead. Okay. Uh, back over here, it does look like the rest of the Median force has been pretty much trout. Yeah, they're, they're gone. 150, 199, and the general actually pulled away. He only got 15 kills. Very well done, though. Losing the ballista, though, that is a pretty big shot for the attackers. Um, I mean, we're going to have to see how they're going to be able to play this out, though. Losing that, losing, losing that giant ballista was big, though. That was definitely a huge blow 
to the attacking forces on this side. Which, also, I just have to mention, uh, not a lot of people attack from this side. So this is going to be kind of interesting, but we're pretty much where those lines that I just drew were, or are, um, that's really the only places they, the attackers can go. Like, they can go here, they can land towers there, they can obviously knock the gate down, they can go there, and they can go there. Very, very, very small area over here to attack. Let's get back over on the other side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to do something. Town center smile. There, okay, there you go. All right, so back over here. We got Rome. He is moving his towers up. He's got his study all on the towers there. Pressing up a couple more towers is three of his units of veteran legionnaires. So it does look like we're going to have a Rome versus Etruscan League for the most part. I do see Masasili does have a couple of units of his legionnaires over here. Uh, Saba having all three units of his Camel Cataphracts right there as well. Some of his Sabian... I'm not Sabian. Yeah, no, that's my Mascot Marauders. The Sabian Swordsman are probably these units here. Yeah, one, two, and three. But let's see. Actually, this unit came back. They are coming back. The Medium Riders only 21 kills. They are going to make their way back over here. Maybe he's going to charge in onto the... Yeah, he's going to charge into the Ram Crew. Not a bad idea. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. That was not a good charge. That was not a good charge at all. Ow. Well, they're still trying to run away, but... I mean, oh, that was a much better charge. The second one was way better. Didn't get many kills, but it was a much better charge. All right, Kush is now just push pushing his whole force up here. Oh, God, turn off auto-fire. Please. Oh, God, the amount of people that I see that leave auto-fire on, it, it's, it's really bad. Don't leave auto-fire on. Don't leave auto-fire on. Please turn it off. Make sure to turn that off and turn on your uh, your guard mode on your ranged units so they don't follow anything, they don't chase anything down. But all right, we actually have Rome inside the settlement. He's got a couple units of his Astati over there. One unit of Astati here currently taking on some of the Etruscan city guard. I want to see what these camels are going to do, though, because I did see that, yeah, they're out here. I want to keep an eye on see what they're going to be able to do, because... I have a very strange feeling they're going to have a lot of kills. It's a, it's a guess. I can't say for certain. Never seen this replay before, but it is a guess that he's going to have a lot of kills. Truscan City Guard dispatching the uh, Estadi rather easily so far. Truscan City Guard in shield wall, though. These guys not have javelins? Not sure why he would immediately place them into shield wall, but oh boy. The moving tanks are getting closer. Let's quickly peel back over here. Kush is moving forward. Ponce is kind of just hanging back for a minute. Uh, Kush actually has got a little bit of a force over here. He had them over there initially. They were like over here in this kind of area. So he did have an initial small force over here. I was wondering if maybe he was going to try and press this wall here. Because you can land towers there. So, but all right. Back inside the settlement. Rome is starting to lose some of his Estadi units. Which is kind of... Yeah, kind of figured that was going to happen. Hastati, I mean, they're good. I don't want to say they're bad infantry, but usually people use them as frontline infantry, uh, equipment movers, stuff like that. So yeah, they pretty much die pretty quickly. Anyway, inside the combat here, though, we've got some veteran legionnaires taking on more of the city guard of Etrus the Etruscan city guard, I guess. Actually, I have to say, the Etruscan League is doing a really good job just pushing these Romans back up onto the wall there. His ranged, if the Etruscan, uh, he's got his slingers over here. The archers, honestly, the ar is, this, is this archers here? Yeah, the archers definitely would be getting massive amounts of kills if they were right here. Because he'd be able to fire at these units that are being pushed back up onto the walls. Getting a lot of kills over here. I mean, I see that he's moved his slingers around. The Etruscan Slingers are starting to get some shots. They are they're kind of firing into the front. What's he's firing over there? I don't know where... He, oh, yeah, no, he is firing over there. Okay, good, 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 good. Good stuff. I'm just saying, for the, as far as his archers are concerned, if he just brought them down right over here, he'd be able to get some really good rear shots in onto the back of that veteran legionnaire unit, like he's doing with his Slingers. Um, but he'd also be able to get some really good shots. But I mean, look at all these Romans pressed up on the wall there. They're being held in position. Two units with shield wall. And that's another unit of Iwakari Cohort now coming in. These archers were right here. Even the Slingers. I think the Slingers would be able to hit them. 
I really think the Slingers would be able to fire in there as well. But all right, speaking of archers, we have the Syrian archers of Rome. Balearic Slingers have moved up as well. The two units of the Syrian archers starting to unload onto the front line here. They've got a good amount of kills on the Etruscan city guard, actually killing more of them there. Uh, Evocati cohort here, 23 kills. Desert Legionnaires moved over there, 81 kills so far, not bad. Let's see what's going on back over here. Kush is pressing in. He's actually knocked down the gate, so that's... No, he didn't knock down the gate. Oh, he's trying to. I think that was his own... Yes, it was his own unit that retreated back through the gatehouse. So that stopped the uh, progression of knocking that gate down. That is pretty rough. Sabine Archer's starting to fire here. Levy Skirmishers actually pulled away from the wall. If I don't know if you guys saw back at the beginning... But the Levy Skirmishers were right up on these walls here. I think he, maybe he was trying to see about getting shots down. He didn't end up getting any, though. We got zero and zero. Let's get back over here. Camo Cataphracts charging in. And oh, my God. Charging in onto the general. Blobbing up all three units, though. I mean, he's definitely going to get the job done. He's gonna, he broke through the general already. He's already broken through the general. These veteran legionnaires need to pinch in. They've got to they got to pinch in and lock these guys lock this cataphract down. The cataphract there with 11 kills, 10 kills. This unit here with eight. I mean, another option that he could do with his cataphracts, one of the units could come all the way around that way, just pull them back and bring them around. He'd be able to railroad right through all of these archers. But he is just continuously pressing through. Legatus General here down to 23 men. Some of the Syrian archers already starting to waver down. This cataphract unit starting to lose. So maybe. They are freight trains. I'm not going to say cataphracts are not. They are very, very scary, super heavy shock cavalry. But again, as I say, with all shock cavalry, medium, light, heavy, super heavy, whatever it is, look at that melee defense. Not good. Not a good melee defense. Armor is pretty good, 90. Charge bonus, 68. All those other stats are wonderful to look at. Charge bonus, 20. I mean, not charge bonus. Melee defense, 20. Not good. Don't leave them in prolonged melee combat. It's never going to be a good idea. Let's see what he's got. 72, 79, and uh, this unit's starting to clear up a little bit. Yeah, these veterans, see the veteran legionnaires stuck in there. They're getting a lot of kills. 37 kills already on these sub, on these. Look at that, he just got a chevron. The veteran legionnaires mixed in here with the archers just got a chevron. Oh, God, javelins. Veteran Legionnaires murdering more of these Camel Cataphracts here. Let's see what he's at. 95 kills with that unit. 180 with that unit, much better. And 128 there. So, I mean, he got rid of the Roman archers. He got definitely got rid of a lot of the Roman uh, range units there. Legatus General definitely took a severe amount of losses. But I'm thinking that maybe if he had charged just the one in there and brought the other two around the other ways... He might have been a little bit, or just bringing both to you in this way and bringing that third one around. He would have easily gotten around the rest of the Roman forces. But all right, let's get back over on the other side here. Kush now pressing into the settlement. Pontus actually has a chariot up here, but he can't get it through because the red. Oh, no, he is. He's getting it through. Oh, no. Chariots have made it through, and oh, no, this could be really bad. This could be really, really, really bad. Side Chariots, 163 kills, starting to break their way through that Massilian front line. Or Massilian, Massilian front line, there we go. We have a lot of the Massacot Marauders now making their way up here. We do see the Levies have moved up here as well for Saba. They are going to try and continue holding this Chariot in place. 295, 300 and 15 kills now, still trying to break their way through here, and they are pushing through. They are doing what chariots do. They are doing what chariots do, and look at that. We have a gap right here. We have a gap right there. Kush could start pressing some of these elite uh, disciples. Oh, God. If you got a disciple around, ooh, that would be murderous. Chariots, though, did finally break their way through. 388 kills, though. Did a good amount of damage there, but it does look like that is going to be the end of that unit here. But they are going to keep on moving unless somebody kills them. There's two of them over here. Is there anything they can run into? Oh, there is. Oh, there is. Are these Moscow Marauders facing the right way? Oh, they are. Okay, never mind. They're safe. This chariot's going to... If he makes it all the way over here, this chariot's going to die. But it's just javelins going to come flying in. 
we're just gonna watch him get murdered. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so Chariot is gone. Back over here. That was actually a really good move. Now Kush really needs to try and capitalize on this. Needs to try and hit. I mean, there's still this gap right there. You can see it. The Sabian swordsmen are trying desperately to hold back the swordsman unit there. If another, even if another chariot came up, they thinned the chariots up and brought them right through that gate. He'd be able to bring them right through there. Now. There is these units here. I see that there are more Muscat Marauders over there. So, but all right, Chariot, uh, yeah. It's pretty much destruction. It's pretty much destruction. General died. Rome did get the rest of his units in here, but this is a reason why don't attack by yourself. Just to say it plainly, this is, this is why you don't attack by yourself. 237, 170, and 131. Pretty good numbers so far with these Camel Cataphracts. I wonder if he's going to have the opportunity to get them all the way around over here, though. That could be huge if he got around over here, especially into these naked swords. Whoo, 10 armor. Yeah, they would get murdered. They would definitely get murdered, but I mean, the attackers still really try to press in here, really trying to get inside the settlement. Bush is doing a pretty good job, I would say, so far. He needs Pontus to get up here. He, I mean, did Pontus bring his archers up? Oh, he has. He's brought a couple of these. Actually, no, he's got all four units of his archers up. Okay, good. That's good. That is definitely good. That's going to help push out even more. He's actually got an armored Chotel warrior already inside the settlement, busting into some of these Sabian swordsmen. That is going to be a quick end to the uh, Sabian swordsmen there. But we do have some archers. Etruscan archers have fallen way back over here. They're going to start firing right into the back of those armored Chotel warriors, but haven't killed any of them yet. Just finally killed the first one. What is their damage? 35. I've only killed one armored Chotel warrior so far. And that's, yeah, that's the swordsman unit. It's definitely going to die. We have the second armored Chotel warrior unit right there. Chotel's disciples of a Piedmac. Where's the other disciples? There he is. What's he got? 30 kills. The other unit there with 51. Okay. Now what's Saba doing? Is he bringing the camels around? I think he is going to bring the camels around. This should be easily, this should be tied up pretty easily. Uh, for the defenders. There's more than enough city guard over here to be able to take out the rest of these veteran legionnaires. Yeah, is this just veterans? Yeah, it's all veteran legionnaires. Okay. So we're going to pretty much stick over on this side of the battlefield for the next 13 minutes. But uh, Armored Chotel Warriors, 132 left in the unit, 106. Kushite Slave Infantry. Ooh, what is that? Another unit of Chotel Warriors. Actually, maybe that unit came back. Not sure. Missionary Celtic Warriors. Yeah, Pontus is starting to press in here now, too. He's got his Celtic warriors in here. Disciples of Piedmont working together. Ooh, this is big. It's a very interesting side to attack for this settlement. I will absolutely agree with you on that. But, oh, God, Saba's on the move. And there's really nothing out here. Okay. Um, all those mercenary Celtic warriors need the, the, the naked swords. They need to get closer to the wall. The pikes. I mean, the pikes can try and do something. Wait, we got another chariot. Another chariot on the move. To try and break through here. Where would a good... Yeah, I mean, actually, this is open. Ooh, yeah, this is open. He could try and just blow his way right through here. Yeah, the defenders are really starting to crack here. Uh-oh. Armored Shotel Warriors busting through the line. 200, almost 200 kills for them. Getting into the next line of Sabian Swordsmen and Mercenary Mascot Marauders. But this chariot unit, where did they go? Where's this chariot unit? He did come in. There he is. Trying to break his way through. I mean, he could have just tried to come right here. There's nothing. There's no infantry there holding the path. But they are making their way through here. 243 kills already. 243 kills for that unit of chariots. And they are now through the line. Going to get into these Etruscan slingers. I don't know how this guy's still alive. He got pelted so many times. Never mind. Chariots are broken. Never mind, chariots are broken. Enough range. 273 kills, though. There's still one chariot. Nope. He's going to run away. He's going to get more kills, though. Oh, no, he didn't. Never mind. Never mind. And Saba. Yeah, Saba getting around. Going to get into the rest of the uh, Pontus force here. Here comes the Mesesli General getting into all of the undefended ranged units here. Oh, wow. That's huge. That is pretty big. Saba. I mean, I would have charged into the 
I would I would I would tried to have come through here. Like maybe one unit hit the hit the Pontic Swordsman, but I would have tried to get into these nakeds. Because they have no armor. You would have been he would have absolutely just murdered all of them. But he's doing a really good job. 248 with one unit, 305 there. His last unit's still down over here fighting the general. I don't think that's gonna last. Nope, it didn't. It did not. That unit is dead. 134 kills, though. That unit is cataphracts. Just broke. 355. This unit over here getting into the Pontus Archers. Very nicely done. 360 kills. Really good job with his cavalry. Really good job. The attackers, though, still making a lot of headway here, but they don't have a lot of range left. I mean, they do, but they don't. They have one, two. It's Kush General still alive. Let's see. Let's count it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units of ranged left. Was that Mercedes Lee General? He's down over there. I mean, they still have six units of ranged. I don't know how much ammo they still have, though. It's got a unit of the Kushite Royal Archers making their way in. They still have ammo. So he is going to press them in. Maybe he's going to try and get some shots. Uh, armor there, 15 for the skirmishers. Sabian Archers, only 10. Where's the Etruscan Archers right there? 10. So the... Royal Kushite Archers have more uh, armor by far. Yeah, the Eastern Archers, not a lot. So he might be able to win that fight if he starts getting some shots in onto these range units quickly. There they go, starting to fire. Firing in onto the Etruscan Slingers, going to chase them away. Essentially bringing over some more of his Dominion Light Infantry to continue trying to hold the line. He's got some of his Legionnaires in there as well. But it doesn't look like, yeah, there's not a lot of Essentially left over here. Rome actually still has a unit of veteran legionnaires walking around over here. Oh my god, they just got a massive peel of volley. Massive peel of volley into the back of the Etruscan Guard. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, I thought all the Rome was dead over here. Here we go, though. This is going to finish it off. Two more units of Etruscan City Guard coming in over there. Essentially, General inching his way forward again. Now, they, they still have a chariot left. They still have one chariot left. And I have to say, the first two did better than I thought they were going to. I'll say that with, with no hesitation at all. They did a lot better than I thought they were going to. Uh, but this, yeah, these mercenary kelp warriors, they're trying. They're trying to do what they can do. Naked swords outside, they... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, Kush. No, no, he's going to get away. Okay. Oh, what is this? The Royal Cataphract Archer General coming in with a charge. Is he good at charging? Is he good at melee? I don't really even know. Uh, melee attack 22. What did that say? Melee attack 22. Weapon damage 35. Charge bonus 16. Yeah, not really that good. Not really that good. Okay. Oh, wow. He's taking a lot of losses. He might want to run away. He might really want to run away. So be in front line. Still trying to hold. Mercenary Masagot Marauders. Trying to still hold. Yeah, Pontus, you got to get more infantry inside here, bud. You got to get some of these Pontic swordsmen in there. Get in there and and help Kush break through because this this defense is falling. This defense is failing here in the middle. I see that Saba though still does have. Ooh, oh, that's three units of the Masagat Marauders. Ouch, that's. That's a, that's a lot of pretty good infantry right there. That's a lot of pretty good infantry right there. But, I mean, the Armored Shotel Warriors actually getting through here. Kush, I just realized, I didn't even see that. Kush actually breaking through over here. Going to get into some of these Etruscan Slingers. So, Kush still has an Armored Shotel Warrior here. Does he still have Disciples? He's got one unit of Disciples left that I can see. Pontus General is out of here. Mesacelian General. Wow. Pontus General down to five chariots left. We do have this uh, Kushite Splave Spearman here fighting off the Armored Dominion Rider General, which is actually really hilarious. Says that the unit is winning slightly for the Kush Slave Spearman. Beating the Armored Numidian Rider General. Yeah, he's killing him. He's killing him. Wow. That's actually really cool. Javelins. Oh, into the Mesesely General. That's big. All right, but back inside, I really want to try and maintain focus inside the settlement here. Bronze Shield Pikemen have made their way forward. Is that them? 
Where are they? I thought I just saw them. Yeah, they're right there. Where's their banner? Oh, there it is. Rancho Pikeman moving up. They've only lost 52 men. 80 kills. Yeah, they're starting to dig in here pretty good. Now, the attackers to defend these pikes. Got to get something over here. Because Saba's getting ready. Saba is definitely getting ready to start bringing, their, bringing, bringing some hate over here onto these Bronze Shield Pikemen. Already up to almost 100 kills. Armored Choto Warriors over here just did a ton of work. Busting down one of the units of Etruscan, hop, uh, Etruscan Archers. And here we go. They're going to continue making their way down. Oh, wait. Pontus is actually moving. No. Ow, the pikes. No, 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 no. Wow, he lined them up right in front of the Moscow Marauders. Well, I mean, push them in. Push them in. Armored Choto Warriors actually coming up on top of the hill. So the Disciples of Epidemac coming down over here, getting into the Etruscan Archers. My God. Second unit of Etruscan Slingers on their way out. But look at the reinforcements on their way here. We do have the rest of the Etruscan army making their way over here from the front lines. But, I mean, this is still kind of dangerous for the defenders. Bronshield Pikemen in Pike. They need to push forward. Just, like, press your up arrow key once. Just tap, tap it up so they move forward in a unit. He would be able to murder right through that mascot marauder unit. But armored Shotel Warriors in the middle. 245. There he goes. He pushed the pikes up a little bit. 245 for the Armored Shotel Warriors getting rid of these mascot marauders. But look at this. Etruscan League coming down and around. Any infantry that's over here for Pontus, just charge them in. Try and save your ranged units as much as you can. Charge in over here and try and hold as fast and as much as you can to see if maybe the attackers can break through this. Now, the Etruscan Heavy Hoplites, 105 armor, 85 melee defense. That is still, that's pretty dangerous. 229 with the Disciples of Piedmac. Very nice. Very, very nicely done. But here we go. Etruscan Archer is going to charge in onto the back of the Disciples who are already entangled with some of these uh, city guard. Oh, that guy just got stabbed in the throat. that disciple's going to die yeah they've already routed so he's he's just gonna get shoved around until he's dead yeah there he goes he's dead all right back over here yeah Truscan getting through the Truscan league breaking through getting into all these archers two minutes and 34 seconds though still left in the battle armor shoto warriors here in the middle 260 kills the pikes there with uh, 136 are actually getting them get it that was good it was definitely a good job getting them up there. I was a little worried by him bringing them up as far as he did. I thought that the uh, mascot marauders were going to just charge into them and stop them from being able to uh, get their pikes down. But fortunately for Pontus, he was able to get them in there and at least get the pikes down. And we have some... some uh, oh, that's Hillman that came back. Hillman that are over here, Eastern Archers. But two minutes and one second left. Uh, I'm going to say that this battle is more than likely over. I'm just going to fast forward here. And uh, see what ends up happening. Some of the Eastern Archers actually coming back to the Eastern Archers here. How many men are in these units? 87 and did that say 112? It did. They still have ammo? They do. Ooh, that actually... Oh, third unit turning around. So the Eastern Archers now going to start... Oh, never mind. It's over. Yeah, now it's over now. Everything broke inside there for the attackers as far as infantry goes, so... Uh, I have to say, very interesting attack. Very interesting choice of attack. Uh, the attackers did pretty well, I would say. I mean, this is pretty easy for the defenders to hold. They just have to hold that for as long as they want, pretty much. I mean, maybe a little bit further up right there to just keep a unit, keep some units inside that circle. 
so they don't lose the, uh, the the gate that fast. But I mean, the attackers made some pretty good ground. They did make some pretty good ground. They made it all the way up over here. They made it all over there. But Rome, if Rome attacked over here, I want to say if all three unit, if all three armies had attacked over here, it might have been a little bit better for the attackers because Rome's armor and the strength of his units and everything might have been a little bit better. But all right, let's take a look at the ending army compositions. Uh, starting off again here with Sea Lord of Bravo. He was also the one that sent the replay in, so thank you very much for sending it over. 1,895 kills. Uh, 114 with his general, his archer his archer general. It was Camel Cataphraxia, 134, 361, 256. Very nicely done there. The uh, Sabian skirmishers, Levy skirmishers, not doing very much. Sabian archers, not doing very much. Uh, his Mascot Marauders, though, 108, 111, 122, 212. There you go. Sabian swordsman, 124. Uh, then we have Mace with Tarkuna, or the uh, Etruscan League, 2,325 kills. We have uh, some of his archers, 139, 156, his slingers, 185, 128. City Guard, which pretty much brings up the rest of his army, 118, 219, 163, 273, uh, 106, 314, wow, Three, uh, 198, 160, and uh, these two. What happened to you guys? Come on, man. How does everybody else do awesome? You guys didn't even make it 100. Come on now. Uh, then we have Mr. Castle here with Miss Aisley, 2029 kills, 185 with his general. His cavalry, unfortunately, that uh, the Midian Rider cavalry just did not add up very much. But his his Desert Legionnaires did, 262, 179, 256, 174, 162, 170, 174. Again, what is you, what happened to you? Only 47 kills over there. Uh, Numidian Light Infantry, 148, pretty good job there. And the Numidian Spearmen, yeah, well, they're Numidian Spearmen. Then we have Spurdy Doodry here with Rome, 1264. Eight with his generals. Archers not doing much. Slingers not doing much. His Evocati, 125, getting into his veterans, 191, 263. And his Histadi pretty much just got wrecked. Top unit there was 45. Then we have Black Series with Kush, 2072 kills. Most kills on the attacking team. Uh, his archers here, 181, 147, 140. Pretty good job with his archers there. Armored Showtail Warriors, 252, 278. Disciples, 168, 236. Uh, Kushite Slave Infantry. Top unit there was 58. Actually, we have a 58 there. His Kushite Slave Spearman. Actually, this unit right there, 97 kills. I want to say that they did a really good job. That might have been the unit that got rid of the uh, the Numidian Riders there for Miss Uh Let's see. Armored Showtail Warriors. Oh, these are regular Showtail Warriors. Sorry. Where's his arm? Oh, they're up there. That's never mind. His Shotel Warriors, 110. Uh, his regular swordsman here, 72. And then we have Fresh with Pontus, 1907. 29 with the General. Ballista, unfortunately, got taken out really early. Really, really early. Uh, side Chariots, 275, 407. So those two chariots did very, very nice. Eastern Archers, 117, 97. Bronze Shield Pikeman, 168. Getting in with his Celtic Warriors here, 125. K naked swords yeah not a lot 64 top kill there and his pontic swords went 77 and 73 but all right guys there you go end of the battle replay here for today hopefully you guys did enjoy again like comment subscribe share the content around trying to hit that 10k for 2022 guys come on let's go let's go but all right check out all the links in the description below have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one